once again, I want to go back to the previous statement that he made. The very beginning was that the kind of interest that you saw this year was much more than yeah. the last time. Market is growing. There is a, a big enough uh, uh, ecosystem that I think all of us can certainly play a role. Um, but what you're seeing today at the conference is there is a lot of emphasis on day to management tasks. Uh, persistence, observability, security, uh, these are all things that you worry about once you have something in production, uh, right? So it, that's really good for all the players that are in the data protection space because that's really what we enable. Um, and, and when it comes to why Cloud Casa, why us over competitive uh, uh, solutions out there, look, we're the only solution that is running as a service. Uh, you don't need more headaches in your, in, in, in your environment by having to run a backup infrastructure. We're the only solution, because we're as a service, can actually increase your fault domain or, 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 or separate your fault domains. Uh, a lot of what backup is about is insurance, right? Uh, when your stuff goes wrong, hopefully someone else can help you bring, up, bring you back to operations. But if your backup uh, uh, agents, like what Caston delivers, is sitting on the same place as your primary cluster, when you lose your primary cluster, you also lose your Kaden application. And, and that's not a situation you want to be in. Uh, so we are delivering a virtual air gap. Everything is running in a service, uh, and, 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 and that is great. The third thing, uh, we want to be proactive about your protecting your data set. It's, we don't want to be just your last line of defense. We will be your excellent last line of defense if that is all you want us to do. But we back up everything that is critical. We are in a position to be able to see what data you're protecting and how you're configuring. So we're able to go back and see if you've configured your clusters correctly, uh, right? 78% of cyber attacks happen because you've not configured it correctly. So many moving parts in Kubernetes. So it's difficult to harden every piece of Kubernetes layer. Um, and so we are enabling that so that we are giving that cyber resilience. And lastly, we talked about cluster sprawl. Um, you know, solutions like Aston are charging based on worker nodes. Each cluster is three worker nodes by default, right? So if you have 100 cluster nodes, you're paying for 300 worker nodes. But today, amount of data per worker node is really small. So we are using a utility model. So you don't have to pay for our service based on what you're running you have to pay for a service based on what you're protecting. Um, and, and I think these allows us to differentiate in the market and kind of have our own lanes uh, uh, in this ecosystem. <laughs>